will be martyred by the satanic hosts of the last days. And it is these, it is these who are seen as having been sacrificed and their souls poured out at the bottom of the altar. They cry for vengeance on their adversaries. For this is fully in keeping with the dispensation of judgment to which they belong. Whereas it would be thoroughly contrary to the grace of the present gospel dispensation. Uh, this is why we know this is that it's not talking about the church age people. Uh, because we don't cry out for vengeance. We 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 cry out for mercy and we pray for our enemies. Uh, but in this day and but in, but in this dispensation, they're looking to God to what avenge them. God's people are taught of his spirit to pray according to the ruling principle of the Pacific time in which their lot is cast. This accounts for what often disturbs and even shocks sensitive souls, the so-called impeccable songs. They cannot understand the cries for vengeance that seem so opposed to the grace of God as now made known. And it is no wonder they are troubled and hesitate to such, take such words upon their lips, for they do not belong to us at all, but they will be exactly suited to the remnant of Israel suffering for Jehovah's sake, but with no clear knowledge of an accomplished redemption, redemption waiting for their Messiah to appear and overthrow the last great Gentile confederation, which, as we shall see when we come to chapter 13 will be bent upon their absolute extermination. To these souls under the altar, invoking the judgment of God upon their merciless adversaries, white robes are given, and they are told that they must wait a little season to the time of Jacob's trouble is ended, and they are joined by their brethren who are yet to be slain as the hatred of God, the, as, as the hatred to God and his Christ rises even higher until the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven in flame and fire taking vengeance on those that know not God as we read in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. The, the opening of the sixth seal gives a marvelous symbolic picture of such grave import that I must give it to you in its entirety. John said, the vengeance part. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, that was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair.